In the past hour, the Florida State University Board of Trustees has unanimously selected Richard McCullough as the university's 16th president. McCullough is currently vice provost for research at Harvard University. He will succeed John Thrasher, who will retire this summer. The Florida Board of Governors still needs to approve his appointment, but as Jake Stofan tells us, one trustee alleged the search process violated sunshine laws and was unfair to some candidates. This memo addressed to the FSU Board of Trustees from trustee Craig Mateer alleges secret votes and rules changes during the presidential search violated the state's open government laws. Mateer made his concerns known to his colleagues before the final interviews with the top three candidates. You know the vote, you change the rules, now you're changing the process. Virtually every step of this selection process has been subject to some level of controversy. Again, it was Florida Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran's candidacy at issue. Mateer's support for Corcoran is well known. My three points should undo what we're going to do here today. There was enough space for people to bring up discussion about different candidates, and there was simply not enough votes for it. Early in the process, the university's accreditation was threatened if Corcoran didn't resign from the Florida Board of Governors, which has the final say on university presidential hires. Ultimately, the trustees moved forward with the interviews. It is simply not true that this was done in some type of secret backroom deal. Matthew Lotta, president of the faculty union at FSU, hopes the controversy around the search is over and done with. They acknowledge that they did everything by the book. You know, there's really only one person who was claiming that it wasn't done right. But nothing is truly over until the final vote is taken by the Board of Governors. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, The Local Station.